I sort of emulate like DirectX 9 or DirectX 11, you choose like with this software. But before doing anything, what we need to do, right, is to see if our graphics card can support like DirectX 11, DirectX 10, or DirectX 9. So, what we're going to do, right, is to search like DXD, like this. And we're going to click it. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to click here, yes. Okay. This DirectX tool is going to like analyze our computer and is like really good because look at it. Okay. Now we can see like my PC runs DirectX 11, but if your PC says like DirectX 9 or DirectX 10, then you cannot run like games in DirectX 11, like I don't know Fallout 4. Rust, but I don't know, a lot of games. If our PC says DirectX 9, then we can do this method. If not, it isn't necessary. So, what we're going to do, right, is going to this link, this link, this one, and we click here, enter. We click here. We wait three seconds. Wait, be careful. Right. Close this. Right. So this program doesn't make miracles. Like if your PC sucks, it will always suck. It does depends in your graphics card or near your CPU. So we click here, download. We wait a little bit. Okay. Now, the only thing we need to do, right, is going to open the program yes and click here this one oh. well, so let's say I want to try it with I don't know um, my steam game like Skyrim or I don't know what let me see I, let's say I want to try it with um, Dark Souls 2 right what we need to do right is to go and find the executable file of the game and we click here and we click open right now we click OK right that's all now in here in device settings we need to choose like the feature level that we want to use like DirectX 9, DirectX 11 or DirectX 10 which is like I'm going to click 11 or 11.1 .1. And this one, force warp, we need to click it, right? And we click on apply. Okay. Once we do that, like the game will be like set settled up to run on DirectX 11. This one is like an emulator for a car 